The 2012 election is a crucial moment for Americans to express their voice through the vote. So what makes a good election? A good election is uh, one that is correct. It guarantees that there is one vote for every voter. It's one that is auditable and verifiable, which means that after the election, we have some way to roll back through the election and make sure that it was faithfully tallied. And it's one that protects voter privacy. I'm Alexander Russell, a professor of computer science at the University of Connecticut and a member of the Yukon Voting Technology Center. I'm Alex Schwarzman. Uh, I'm a professor of computer science and engineering, and I direct the Center for uh, Voting Technology Research at the University of Connecticut. Our work focuses on providing integrity and security of electronic voting equipment used in the state of Connecticut. In 2006, uh, when Connecticut was modernizing its, its voting equipment, uh, moving from lever-based machines to electronic machines, uh, the Secretary of the State's office uh, approached our research group and asked us to evaluate uh, a variety of electronic voting machines that were being considered by the state. Most of the states in the nation use uh, two electronic voting technologies. The first is the touchscreen direct recording electronic technology where the voters select their choices by touching a screen. The machine then records the votes as the voter casts them and update the tallies. The second technology is the optical scan uh, voter verified paper ballot. Uh, so here's an example of this. Uh, here the voter um, marks their selections on the ballot and this ballot presents a voter verified uh, paper record that is retained for um, a variety of reasons. The biggest problem with the touchscreen technology is that there is no direct voter verified paper audit trail. And so if the machine malfunctions, there is no direct way of uh, recovering the votes as they were cast by the, by the citizens. And that is a problem. These machines uh, cannot be audited. Uh, we can ask it, well, can you recount the votes? And the machine will give you exactly the same tally as it told you before. Uh, and there is no recourse whatsoever. So it is not a surprise that uh, several states are now replacing their touchscreen devices with optical scan devices. Uh, we participated in the selection of uh, optical scan technology for Connecticut and, uh, in 2006, and uh, we're very happy that this uh, choice proved to be the correct one. A typical setup in a Connecticut district will, uh, will include the EcoVote machine, a registered voter will receive four programmed memory cards for that election. These cards are programmed for every election. After performing a pre-election testing on memory cards, they pick one card randomly and send it to Yukon Water Center for a pre-election audit. Uh, every memory card has a log. We audit the log and check whether all uh, procedures were followed. And we also perform a post-election audit, which are for the cards in the election. So the purpose of the audit is to ensure that the votes are tabulated correctly. Uh, therefore, uh, the state, and it's mandated by law, must select 10% of the precinct randomly and conduct a manual audit. Uh, this audit is manual simply because the, a number of people end up in a room and are going through the ballots by hand counting the votes cast for each candidate in each race. As you can expect, the process is slow, uh, error-prone, expensive, and therefore uh, is not the ideal way to conduct uh, such an audit. Therefore, in uh, 2011, the center, together with the state, applied for a grant from the Election Assistance Commission uh, to obtain funding to develop an automated audit solution. The computer-aided audit process starts by taking the ballots and pushing them through a conventional scanner uh, to obtain digital images of the ballot. This process can easily deal with ballots that have no ambiguous markings on them, and those ballots can be tallied automatically. 
this automation process allows us to rescan the same ballot multiple times if necessary and to conduct uh, a procedure that ensures that the entire uh, precinct can be recounted in a fraction of the time that would be necessary with a completely manual process with no counting errors and an automatic separation of the easy ballot from the difficult ballot. Connecticut is one of the very few states in the nation that has a formal partnership between the Secretary of the State's office and an independent uh, research group such as our group uh, here at the University of Connecticut. While we are independent uh, from the state, we provide substantial technological expertise and benefit to the state in ensuring um, integrity and security of the use of technology in the elections. Um, why is this important? Well, I'll give you one example. Uh, in a certain New England state, not Connecticut, in a recent primary, it was determined that all machine-counted districts selected candidate A, while all, all uh, hand-counted districts selected candidate B. Um, there were good demographic reasons for these discrepancies, yet the questions were asked. Were the machines programmed correctly for the election? The state officials could not provide the answer. In Connecticut, we do have uh, technological audits, and we can provide an answer should such questions be asked. Uh, and this is important in increasing our uh, citizens' certainty that uh, their votes are, in fact, counted correctly.